uh, Mr. Shehu Othman Sani. He is indeed a permanent member, Kaduna State University Basic Educa Education Board. We did hear you speak just moments ago, and you made that claim that uh, uh, the NUT members were indeed going to schools to shut them down. That's for those teachers that are working and, uh, 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 in open schools. And he has debunked it at this moment. So how do you respond to that? Uh, good morning, viewers. Uh, I think uh, the NUT chairman is, uh, is just saying it uh, out of his own selfish interest. I'm sorry to say that. But uh, uh, I even have some audio clips in my handset, uh, which was sent by one of the teachers that uh, I mean, uh, the NUT were in their school and they were harassing them to go out. But they are insisting that uh, they, don't, they will never go out until, uh, uh, on, uh, unless, of course, if uh, the union uh, will be split to have their own union separate from the NUT that are uh, chasing them away from the schools. So uh, it is a reality and everybody knows it. Uh, the parents, the, 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 the teachers, they all know it that uh, union members go to the schools to, to, to chase away these uh, teachers that are ready to abide by the uh, uh, directives of the government that is, the school has been reopened and uh, they, they should go back to school and uh, continue with their work. Let's take, let's take a step back because uh, a lot of people are still concerned, especially the NUT as demonstrated by them. We did see those reports come through. That's 21,000 teachers. It's yeah. somehow unthinkable that the state government will go ahead to sack, to make true its threat that it will sack that much teachers in a sector that is begging to have teachers uh, teaching the children. Why would Kaduna State take a stance like that? Simple. I think they are not qualified to be there. That is why the Kaduna government is taking that decision. They, can, they have been tested and uh, we found them uh, to be unqualified to be in that place. And since uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Malay Nasr Arifai, is uh, reforming education in the state, of course, something must be done. And this is what, what, what he's doing. Uh, so I don't see anything wrong with that. If 21,000 are going, uh, of course, like I told you the other time I was here, uh, 25,000 has been approved to be re. Uh, 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 engage, I mean, to be engaged into the service, will be trained and sent to the schools. Uh, so far, we have uh, advertised, uh, interested candidates have applied, we have examined them, and uh, we finished marking the scripts. The, the, the data is being captured in the computers, and very soon after the analysis, we will invite those that are qualified, those that pass the examination for a screening interview. And uh, of course, we're going to employ 21,000. Uh, I, I, I must tell you here that uh, uh, about 45,000 applied for this job. And uh, we are ready to employ 25,000 right away. Because uh, the argument is that uh, perhaps the, your state government should have looked at the uh, other options, for instance, having to uh, let these teachers who went through that compulsory test to, again, seize them and then retrain some of these teachers by the state government and, and then have them back in. And then there's another part of it that argues that perhaps the state government just wants to prune uh, the the figures at the local government uh, at, the, at the local government level to reduce uh, the the overhead cost. I, I think uh, this is just a, a wrong insinuation that, that are being passed. Uh, that is the more reason why we always say it. Uh, our people, unfortunately, are politicizing education. Education is far from that. I, I see no reason why people should, should be uh, uh, talking uh, uh, in this kind of, uh, I mean, this, 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 like this. Um, the governor has already mentioned it. He is going to reform education in the state. 
If 21,000 are laid off, 25,000 are going to be brought into the system. Then what, what brought about the question of uh, 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 saving costs uh, to, 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 to the local governments? Because what that's what Nolgay, that? as a matter uh, of fact, that's what the president, that is what the president of Nolgay, the National Union of Local Government Employees, is asserting that that is the plot by the, legal, by the Kaduna state government to ensure that it prunes the numbers just so that uh, uh, it is able to cut down on uh, the, the, the cost of governance at that level. I want to assure you that that is not true. That is never true. And uh, a simple arithmetic will tell you. 21,000 are going, are going and 25,000 are coming in. Then why, why is the pruning there? Uh, they are just seeing it out of their own selfish interest. Okay, I'm Mr. sorry to say that. Mr. But uh, Mr. It's, it's very wrong. Okay, Mr. Abmantani, let's uh, look at this uh, numbers that you say are coming in. Uh, we do know that in some other climbs, only the best of graduates, first class and those with two ones, are allowed to, the te to go into the teaching profession in the schools. Um, this 25, you say, have been tested and have been examined and are coming in, 25,000. Is it possible for us to have an average of what their qualifications are like? Uh, most of them are uh, NCE holders, but we have graduates among them. We have uh, a few that uh, are master's degree holders, and uh, I think uh, once they pass the examination, they are coming okay, in. Okay, so the, the, most, most the, of them the are... National Policy on Education mentioned, I mean, uh, stated that uh, the minimum teaching qualification in Nigeria is the National uh, Certificate in Education, NCE. Mm. So, so one would think that uh, I think we can do with the NCE holders.